Okay, I'm going to show you how to cut out a socket for a hinge. Here's the hinge, and this is why I did a bit a bit earlier. This is what it should go like. That's nice and snug, and that's absolutely nice and tight, perfect for that that hinge. So what I'm going to do is show you how to. I marked this out here. You. Take a gauge, set it to the center of the pin there, and gauge it back from the center to this surface here. And that gauges the depth down. You want a line on the outside and a line down there. You then mark out square across and down on either side to give you the, the position of the, of the hinge both on the box and on the lid so you're doing this on the lid as well so you've got these lines across here you, you, you maybe i'm just now going to chop down to the the baseline i'm going to use a a, a, a chisel and a hammer so i'll be a, i'll be away a moment or two hang on i'm just going to move this light so i can see where i'm going let me go down there coming in from the line Want to be above the line, but only just. Turn around, just come inside the line. A chisel to pair from this side, and I want to be able to see see where my line is. Um, so I'm just going to pair this one. Take, take my glasses off so I can see the damn thing. It's a thing with old age. Can't always see the line. I'm pairing upwards. I don't know where, where, I can't see that line at the back there, so I'm just taking it up. Let's see this guy here is going to give me a bit of trouble. Show what I can I take a bit of stuff out the back here. Now, now if I'm if I'm pairing this way. This it this side is a nuisance because I can't I can turn the blade over and do that. But those of you who know me know that I don't like having many tools. I'm, I I minimise the tools. So for the tool nuts among you, here's a it is done. You it's a cranked pairing chisel. It just enables me to pair this side, but be over that. Got to see that line then. I come from this side now. for wider blades because it helps me to get square. I can see the one. When I'm doing this, I kind of do it, creep up on that line. I'm just about a mil, well, half a mil, quarter of a mil away from that line now. Now I'm going to go on. I'm just going to take down gets me nice and square. Same with this side. I'll do the same here. Creep up on that line. This is my lucky choice. 
this is wide enough to go right across that banner. I have to have the whole thing. Look for the line once you've gone past it. You're dead. See the stance here? Look, I've got this blade tucked right in and I'm just working it like this. It's in my legs, not in my hands. The action is really very controlled. And I'm getting controlled flatness on that surface. Now I've got to use that little cranky thing to come in from this side and get the other bit of that corner. Let's see where the hell that line is. He's there. There we go. Got him. Go for the cranky thing. See that I've got to get that one. Trust my marking out imp implicitly, and I want to hit those lines. And I know if I if I get them on either side, and I just work on this area in the middle, it'll come up flat. And I go carefully into the corners here. That'll be fine. We're getting quite near it now. Let's see how we're going to go. The other one. Yeah, it's slightly different these hinges. Yeah, that's gonna go, that's gonna sit in there quite well. So there you go. Hinge, hinge fitting. <laughs>